And maybe we will get lucky and get Mike right off the bat and find a truck. I mean, if we could find a truck location at least and a trailer. So my last game that I did, literally the first town I went into, the trailer was sitting right there for the ATV. It was like the easiest thing. So we're gonna all right so a lot of times I've always like saved the, the food that extra that meal I'm not gonna save that at all I'm gonna use that to kind of push through maybe try and hit a couple of the towns and um, we're gonna try and get a really good start on this one here and the trick is to go ahead and get as much done as possible I didn't pick up any rock or stone yet because I wanna um, get some of the basic stuff knocked out so basic stuff that I I would recommend in the beginning if you're trying to get to the location you want to go you want to get this as fast as quick as possible I like to always try and get set up before that first rain so that I have um, yep. so kind of get that first rain collect all that water and of course you need the saw and all that stuff you can a uh, table so, uh, the, the saw bed okay it's ready all right got some food there all right okay so what can we craft on ourselves um, so if we go to the crafting thing here so you need a workbench to craft this baby here and that needs three planks and some iron fragments which we don't have in the beginning so that's a shame because blocking would make a huge difference but stone blade uh, a stick three plant fibers so um, okay so So, okay, the fuel's already full because it took one of the fuel tanks. Oops, let's keep that on us. Don't need that, don't need that. Okay. So we're looking for the, oh, here we go. One there. We're looking for the bush so that we can just chop that baby up. There it is right there. And sunstroke is a thing, so you, you want to try and avoid. Decent loot, decent loot. We have another rock, yes we do. So let's craft this and craft a stone blade and split in half. There we go. Stone blade and I think we need five of this, split in half and craft the maximum. Oh, we didn't have another stone blade, so. Oh. There we go. Let's go back here. Craft. Drop that there. Split in half. There we go. And craft. So we're definitely going to need the spears over anything else. So, 
let's get out the rough shade. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to, I guess we could shoot right down here and see if, see if we can't get a tech. Then we're going to drive on up here, break off to the right, see if we can't get a tech. Then we're going to follow this path on up. We'll stop there, see if we can't get a tech. And our goal is to set up our base right here. So that's going to be our house, and it's going to be yellow. Home base. Home. We'll just call it home. Add marker. So that's where I want to set up my base. It's by far, I think, the flattest location on this map. I, I don't think there's anything as flat. I mean, this would be cool, you know, if you could find a way, build all the way up here, and then you have your home base. The, the zombies would never get to you. So, but I think that kind of, you, you miss out on a lot of loot by doing that there. So, let's get started. Oop. Okay, let's hit the map. All right. Let's see if we can't get our first tech. As you can see, I'm trying to drive through the, the shade. So we're not taking that much sunburn. And got to break off to the right. It should be coming up here to in front of us. Hopefully we can find some cucumbers and some pumpkins. Huh? Looks like we're supposed to be right on it. right below us so oops right now driving the quad or the ATV it's very forgiving it doesn't take any damage so you can run into anything or everything over and over and there's no consequences oop all right harvest thing we do is we're going to save just so that okay all right there's a bamp over there and there's one over there Free water. Oh yes, look at that. Got our first tech. We're gonna assign those as soon. So we don't need the sticks at all for now. I mean, sticks we can get everywhere. So we're definitely going to want to find a trailer as soon as possible. I'm going this way. I don't want to get into a fight yet, and I want to drop off all my loot. Big 
items will go there. Okay. Rocks we don't need, so that's definitely something we don't... Oh, we definitely want to keep the healing things on us, just in case if we get hit, we can heal ourselves, which we probably will. Okay. I could keep saving, but realistically, um... Is that the only house there? Oh, there's gas in there. But we already got an extra gas. Alright. Alright, so let's get on the road. Not worth trying to search it. We can always come back. Oh. Run, 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 run. Don't need the corn that bad. <laughs> we'll find plenty of corn and cucumbers. Alright. So, we're off to a good start, I think. We already got one tech, and we didn't have to get into a fight. Okay, let's look at the map real quick, and let's plan our course. Uh, we're going to go straight, and then we're going to break to the right. a goat. Goats you'll need later on because they produce milk and a lot of the cooking recipes require um, then the milk. So definitely uh, when you get the barn built don't just get the chickens. You also want to get the, the goats. I mean, they just got so many. Like, right there, you could build your base right at the top of that cliff there. You know, just... There's just so many opportunities. Or locations that you can build something really cool. Alright. And we got some free feathers. We'll take that. Okay. Down to 84 when we hit about 50 with the sun damage or heat. Okay, let's look at the food here. We can eat that. Eat that. So we haven't had to mess with our water yet. And seeds are always good. You want to harvest all the plants that you can see in the beginning because of the seeds. Even if you don't eat them, you still want to harvest it so that you can get those seeds. Especially watermelons. So I, I think the, the, the pumpkin and the watermelons in the beginning are going to be huge game changers. Alright. So what we're going to do is keep going right. Then we're going to go straight on up through the desert. Okay. All right. So let's see how we can do this. I think we're off to a pretty good start. So so you you want the watermelons and the melons because those give you free water. Also the pumpkin also gives you water, just not as much as the watermelons. What I'm doing is looking to see if I can see a watermelon. Okay. Alright. Let's go on up here. Oh, there's another pumpkin. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. 
Don't need to eat it yet because our water's still pretty good. Okay. Oh gosh, the guy with this shield. I hate that guy. Okay. Uh, let's go with three. Frogs are everywhere, so I wouldn't recommend as far as like the good. All right, we got him. Hopefully he's by himself. Oh, he ran away. All right, got a piece of ore. Steel, there we go. Not gonna complain. So we can't loot everything. Um, so the things I can definitely tell you wanna get in the beginning is gonna be plastic and, uh, and electronic parts and stuff. So we're gonna get start getting really picky soon. You don't even need the, the rock, so you don't even want to. Damaged regular bandages will heal that, and the medicated one will heal that. Okay, so we're kind of back up on our healing. All we can do is hope now that we can get some healings. Clay stack, so you could take that. Okay. Those we could use, but the other thing not. Don't need that in the beginning because we can find those. We'll take the ore, but we might not keep that. Don't need. Oh, look at that. Boom. Second tech found. Okay. We'll eat that right now. Keep our stuff going up. Seeds are always good. That puts our food at 100%. Don't need rocks. Okay, there's no upstairs. So we went through that one, and that one. There's a fuel thing over there. We're definitely gonna wanna get the fuel. All right, so we're doing pretty good. Don't need a rope, don't need expired food. Okay, let's see. Let's go drop some of this stuff off and Okay, we can put that right there. Put that in there. Okay, so definitely don't need that. Uh, we can get rid of that. Biofuel. We'll get rid of, put that in there. Don't need that. Okay, so.
Can we craft a, let's see if we can craft a bone spear. Oh, got to be at a workbench. Okay, that's fine. Um, we do need a stick, though. What's it at? Ooh, durability is only at five, so... One more rock. Yeah, this is be a Okay, so let's go to craft. Okay. There. Split in half. That one split in half craft did you make it yes all right let's go here let's go to craft yeah, this is taking a little bit longer. And craft. Okay. Okay, do we got... <sighs> okay, what's our, what's the fuel look like? Oh, we're good on fuel. it upstairs that we got I'm not going to mess with that anymore. Okay, he hit us and we got infected. Talk about some bad luck there. Ugh. Oh, well, we got a bird. Advantage. What? Okay. Okay. 
Let's hit the map. We want to go... So we went to there. We're going to keep going straight. Hit the next town. So we've already found two tech items, so that's good. I know this seems a little chaotic and crazy because right now we should have already had our thing set up and be collecting the rain right now. Oops. Hopefully we'll find a watermelon. That's really what you want. That would give us then 40 water. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Need to be going this way. It's another pumpkin. We've got plenty of pumpkins, so we don't need that. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, so this is the big town here. Um, we could try... Hmm. We're gonna try it. So we went to a couple locations. We went to here. And we're going to just put blue. And add the marker. And add the marker. So we went to those. The reason why I'm putting the markers down. Gotta wait for the lightning to stop. Yeah, the reason why I'm putting the markers down is so that we know that uh, the r truck isn't there. And we've also got the tech points. Okay. Okay. So we are going to try it. Now this big city, it is huge. And it has a lot of uh, zombies in it. So. Uh. Okay. I think we can we can work with that. All right, let's look at the map. It's right up in front of us. So there's two things that we can get here, which would help us out. One, there's money, and two, there's the large water bottle. Now, you could also craft. You can also craft a water bottle if you have aluminum, but that's kind of like usually a little bit later on after you smelted it. Whereas here, you get it for free. Okay. So, we're going to drive around real quick and see where the. Uh, Oh, wait. That's it right there. Okay. I don't know why I keep saving. So that's the entrance. Maybe. No, this isn't the entrance. Darn it. It's on the other side.
screws, dry brick, matter. Key cover for water. So we gotta go around. means we still can get two big items okay so now this is a tricky part so we got to get to the other side so hopefully okay so there's a guy right there we need that so now my goal oh don't want that There's a big bottle. If you crouch, coins supposed to be right underneath the table here. Okay, I guess it's not there every time. Watermelon seeds. Definitely gonna take those. Okay, so let's just get on out of here. Man, that was super lucky. We're just gonna drive through the streets, make sure that the red truck isn't here. And just look at the map real quick. Yep. Then we're gonna make a right and go straight on out. So let's just hope the truck isn't here. And I don't see it. Nope. And there could be some tech points here, but it's just not worth looking. Not at the moment. We'll save that for another recording. Okay, so we're 30 minutes into the game. We have not established our base. We haven't done anything, but collect a couple tech points. So now we're just going to keep going straight on up. We're going to harvest that. Eat. Eat. Eat that. Yep, everything's maxed out. And our water is low, so... Okay. Is there any water in here? Oh, darn it. It's empty. And we really need to get a watermelon. I know it's not too much to ask now. It, oop, is that a watermelon? Or another melon. Another melon would be good too. So another melon or a watermelon would be really good right about now. I'm trying to avoid having to use a water bottle. Because once we use that, that's it. go hit save on my last game drove up into the town and the trailer was sitting right there in front of us talk about super lucky yeah like, yeah we're not gonna pick anything up um, I'm just gonna go in some of these houses and see if we can't get some tech points I'm not gonna look for nothing only thing we're looking for is tech points 
I am going to go looking for the first aid kits. None of that. Oh, actually, we could go to the bathrooms to look for the uh, the first aid. That we can use. Palo. We'll take that for now. Back on out the back door. There's a lot of houses here. There's also a lot of vamps around here too. Oh, here's the truck. All right, so we found a truck. going to go back here so I can go to the map and we are going to put down truck because it's red we're going to mark it there and we're going to put that and add marker so we know that that is where the truck is at all right so we found our truck so only thing now we need to do is find Mikey and we will be good We're going to take this fuel now because I'm going to go ahead and fill up the truck. Even though we probably don't need it, I'm still going to fill it up. Oh yeah, first aid kit, first aid kit. Definitely taking those things. Bandages are definitely a must, if you ask me. Okay, um, we can see if there's a melon. There we go. Ooh, there. Good thing we look for that. Nope. So we got one, two, three more houses. It's this is at 45. Okay. Oop. Yes. So we got three. I think we need like five or six would be like perfect. Okay. Still alloy. Definitely want that. Um, pumpkin seeds. I think we already have that somewhere. So pick up the. Uh, okay.
just checking in here because I've actually found a tech point once inside there. So another one. Oh my goodness, people, we are rolling. Oh yeah, definitely need those things. Those little ones really are lifesavers. And take the tallow again. Glass we don't need, but the can we can use. All right. All right. So we found some tech points now. We found a truck. This is a pretty good start. Now, if we get lucky and find Mike, man, I'm telling you, this is going to be unbelievable. So now we want to build our base right over here. However, I'm going to go to here and here. First, I want to go to here because I want to see if I can find Mikey. So. And we will set up our base. And this is perfect because it's like right next to where we plan on building. Oops. And now look at this. This is just... All flat. Oh, drop the seeds because we don't have any space. Let's see if we can still put some more stuff in here. Uh, well, we can put that away. The seeds. Oh, there we go. All right. So, okay. Well. Doesn't matter about the seeds. Uh, fuel. Gonna put that in there. All right. So. Okay, dokie. We're right here where our base is at. I mean, we could like try and do a couple of quick things real quick, but I want to. Sorry about that for keep going. Um, uh, it's my better judgment. We're just going to keep going straight. Hit the other place. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get another tech point. And then at the place where uh, hopefully Mikey is at, if we can get another tech point, that'll give us six tech points. Um, so definitely want to get to the point where we can we're definitely going to learn to butcher table but uh wh what I plan on doing is I want to immediately then go I want to immediately then, once we can make the butcher table, instead of actually making it at our base, we're going to go to the crocodile area, make it there, kill all the crocodiles that we need. We're going to need to kill four of them. It's also going to give us plenty of meat. And we should be looking pretty good. In here. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll find a tech. Nothing. Nothing. Ugh. Oil. Man, we're going to. I mean, we are leaving a lot of stuff behind, I will admit. But. There's a method to this madness. 
getting close. All right, water's back on up to 47. Okay, hold F, that's going to tell you, so we just have to find our location. So, now we're going to go on up there, and hopefully we're going to find Mikey. Then we'll be super lucky. And if Mikey's there, we're definitely going to uh, grab him then, and bring him on back to the base. And if not, then we're going to go to our base, get started, make a bunch of storage boxes, dump off all our stuff, and then we're going to immediately go and get Mikey. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, we'll just stay on the road. Loop it all the way around. Our energy is still up pretty good, so shouldn't be too bad for that. I tell you, boy, watermelon seems to be a, a rare commodity on this server, or this game right now, this, this load. Man, all we need now is to get lucky and find a trailer, then we're going to be really cooking with Crisco. I mean, worst case scenario, uh, where we're going, there's also close there's a trader uh, we can actually sell a gas tank for five coins I believe and with that we could actually then we could find a trader and then with that we could actually see there's a trader right there so hopefully we can get a tech there tech there and we're gonna drive back around and go back to our base and then that's when we're gonna start building Again, building is going to be, again, extremely limited because I plan on, um, like, I'm literally going to make a really small, small, small base. Okay, make a right here. Yep. And once we get to the intersection, we make a left. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a watermelon on the way. Okay, so let's get some water. So we got this big bottle here. That's that is a huge game changer. We got really lucky with getting the water bottle. Now all we gotta do is get lucky and find our trailer. Man, if we could find Mikey and a trailer here. My goodness, we would be so, so lucky.
Please be there. Please be there. Please be there. Yes, we found Mikey. Okay. We're going to save that baby. All right. So, crafting. Nope. Uh, let's look at our weapon. This thing is at 100. Spear is always at 3. So, we can kill maybe two guys. Definitely one. That guy's right there. Oh, yes. We got five points, people. Okay. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to run. There's a building right there. And a big building right there, too. So we might get lucky in a house. Good. Have them follow us. All right, so now we're just going to run do the dope de dope let them come on in here and follow us yep just keep them behind us whoa there's another guy in there too okay whoa Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. Run. Okay, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Ah. So health, it's at 53. Whoa. Go, 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 go. So the good thing is those guys are going to keep chasing us and then they despawn. And then, well, we don't know what's going to be back there then after they despawn. Because there was like four or five guys there. There was no way I would have been able to kill all those guys. So now, let's go ahead and heal ourselves real quick. Oh man, these guys did a number on me. Okay, and now let's take one of these. Okay. All right. So I don't think there was a note up there. There might have been one upstairs, but I really doubt. I really doubt it. See how quick the stuff despawns? Okay, so we're just gonna... Okay. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up Miking. We're going to set him down right in front of the ATV. Against my better judgment, I am still going to go see. Um, okay. We're going to save the water to like the ultimate end goal. See, there's only one guy. He's all the way down there now. <sighs> okay. We're, you know what? We're just going to head on back. I think we've made our mark here. 
Um, I think what we're going to do is... Let's hopefully we got some of this stuff here. Yes, pumpkin seeds. Okay. All right. And we're going to take this fuel. Because we need to sell it. Let's look at the map. So we're going to go out here, make a right, go back down the road, turn left, and just keep going straight. And if we're lucky, one of two things is going to happen. If we're super lucky, the trailer will be there where the trailer's at. But I doubt that... Whoa. Uh, yeah, we don't need food. We're pretty good on if it was watermelon, I definitely would have stopped and grabbed the watermelon because we need the water. But if it's not watermelon or pumpkin, cucumber, of course, is better. Or watermelon or melon is the best for water. Cucumber is the next best, and then the pumpkin gives us just like, eh, like a little bit. But I'll take anything over nothing right now. But we got Mikey. That is a huge, huge, huge game changer. This is going to make things so much easier. And what we'll do is when we need to get the liver, instead of having to get the butcher table, we're just going to go loot a town because a lot of times they have food and a lot of times they'll have liver. And then we'll just rush back, make the antidote, get Mikey up on his feet, and then, boy, I tell you, we are going to be doing so much better. He's way down there. Alright, so we are just looking for blueprints now. That is it. Bam. We got six of them. Man, we are just smoking on this one. All the way down there. Not a problem. Perfect. That is perfect. Beautiful. So that would be the next thing that we do. Okay. So now. Let's hit save. 
Um, I don't know if I want to get that bone, though. I really don't. Well, actually, yeah, because we got bones already in the vehicle. So we can drop that in there. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to make a run for it. Okay, let's All right, we didn't have no choice. Um There we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Against my better judgment, I'm going back to check out the other houses. I truly believe there's another, uh, there's a tech point there. That would then give us seven tech points, which is going to be massive. to where we're going to be building, so this makes sense. Okay. Sorry about that, Mac. Even you laying on the street and all, but... Okay, what could we get rid of? I would get rid of the clay. All right. Plastic, we haven't been seeing at all. Go back here because I know we got some stuff in here that we can drop off. Boom, boom, boom. All right. 
Okay. I don't know why I keep saving. It's not like anything's going to make a difference. Uh, we got 80 health. We got some first aid kits on us. We already killed one guy. Pretty easy. Nothing. But 50 health. Alright, we're at 100 health. So we know so that's the only house where that house might have something. Darn it. That sun glare. Oh my goodness. Seven tech points. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 run, 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 run. We got what we needed. We're good. Screw that Kevlar. I don't care about it. Not one bit. Nope. See ya, but I wouldn't want to be ya. Seven tech points, people. That is what I'm talking about. Seven tech tree points. And Mike. And we know where the trailer's at. I mean, people, you cannot, I'm telling you, you cannot have a better start than that. Like, there's just nothing. No. This is just a start. This, this is amazing. This is a start, people. I am telling you, this is how you want to start your game. Nothing else. Nope. I don't think I could have had a better start. Here's also an interesting spot you can build right next to the water. But, again, it's not flat. And I, I can assure you... You want something that's flat. If I, I don't know. I mean, I know there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. You can build onto rocks, inside the rock. You can build inside the cave. I'm telling you, nothing beats a flat location. I built up here, and even here, it's not 100% flat. Look how it dips right there. And right there. No. Sorry about that, Mike. Got to set you down for a second. Get that free, uh... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Boom. 
Okay. Pick you up, buddy. Oh. Yep, nope. But down here, it's flat, buddy. Okay. The water is at 28%. So. But we do know where water is, so we might have to, like, hike it to get water. Maybe we'll be able to get some, uh, some tubs up. Maybe, oop. And look at that, people. And that's how easy watermelon. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Talk about lucky. So the water's right now at 42, 62, 82. Bam. I am telling you guys, this is a start. This is a start, people. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm sorry. I keep repeating myself, but, man, this, this is an awesome start. Okay, so this seems to be pretty straight. Then you notice it starts sloping off there. This, however, this is all flat. You're not getting any more flatter than this. This is it. This is where we're going to build. Build. Others. Land place. It kind of slopes off back that way. So we're going to go a little bit towards here. We might get the road up. But I think overall. There we go. Beautiful. Everything's flat. Oh my gosh. So we're going to leave Mikey over there for now. Okay. Vehicle's right over there, right next to Mikey. We're just going to leave them right outside the, uh, the area. Okay. Okay, we're just going to start super small. Foundations construction. Like
I mean, I'm wondering if I should go, like, all the way down. Like, if you go here. Like, it's like right on the... You know what? That's what we're going to do. So, so I don't think we have any eggs, so we definitely can't be taking any chances. Okay. Okay, first off, I think what we need to do, placeable items, others, we're going to need these. That's where we're going to start the base. items other where is it at construction others here we go build placeable we don't need others yep Okay. Placeable saw bench.
replaceable storage. So, so you notice I'm I'm staying in the shadows so that I'm not taking the uh, the sun damage. What? Am I overweight? What did I? Oh. Um. Do we got anything? Yeah, we can eat. Oh, look at that. Found us an onion. We can eat that because uh, all right. Okay. So, inventory is empty. Running around, um, there are other people. You know, you start off in the middle of the woods. Oops. But unfortunately, I just Just wooden logs, here we go.
we'll set up the other uh, things for sawing after we get Mike. Hopefully it's going to rain again soon. Then we'll have water. Oops, sorry about that. I think three is enough. Oops. Oh, getting that shade. Shade real quick. Um, I think we're gonna need that. And then, what do we need to make the pickaxe? Because we're gonna need some uh, one stick, one stone blade, and two plant fibers. Okay, one there. One there. Split one, split one. And craft. There we go. And. Probably have to make another one or two axes. So we want to get the smelter things going as quick as possible. And the reason why is because we're going to need metal. Um, we're definitely going to then go, as soon as we get enough metal, we're going straight to get the, uh, the bigger backpack. That's that's just key. Um, always running out of space, not being able to carry things, it's just a pain in the butt. Oop, there's a melon. that melon right there look at that harvest that baby oops go here it's getting a little dark let's hope that that means it's rain Okay. All right. We got water. Small stones and firewood. got to remember to keep dropping stuff off inside our toolboxes so we don't end up with something like this overweight but that's fine
And then we should have kept that one tree stump because I could have turned it into firewood to finish off the stove. Okay, so let's build placeable storage. Okay, so we're gonna need a stone crate. And let's build placeable storage planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's fine. All right. Let's see. storage firewood buildable placeable storage and sticks go Look at that. go
All right, let's go get Mikey. Bring him closer to the base. <clears throat> about that Mikey please let us have some how many nails do we have we'll have to yes we got 11 nails and I think we need 12 man that's uh that's painful here all right Let's build placeables other cart oh nail only need perfect only need 10 we got 11 talk about lucky need wood logs planks and nails Okay. Um, it's a little further than I wanted, but that's fine for now. Oh, there's some logs right there too.
good, man. This has got to be one of the best starts that I've had. And I've started this game quite a bit in the last few days. Foundations. That's I think we're gonna Spear broke, but that's fine.
Okay, so we're about to hit the two hour mark. Um, in hindsight, what I want to do is I want to do like a blueprint. So I want to map out all the way from here, go all the way around, literally put a whole outside boundary for my base, what it's going to be. And, uh, and then we just got to decide. So probably like have maybe like an entrance that comes in here on that area then go a little bit further out like that and then bring it all the way around all the way around bring it all the way around back into the front and then of course I had a really big base last time so like this wouldn't be nowhere near big enough what I need what I plan on doing so what I, one thing I don't understand is because we really can't build round, you know, we don't have the, I don't understand why they have a round circle. Like, why can't it be just square? That's what all the foundation items are for. So, like, there's logically, it just doesn't make sense to have a, a um, circle area when all your foundations are square. There's no roundings, there's a couple curves, but even then they wouldn't fall the, the circle part. Okay, so. Build, construction, gonna just do placeable furniture bedroom just need to get a bed all right we're gonna wake up once our energy is all the way at the top then we're gonna go ahead and save it and then that's what's gonna be it um, so literally I am just going to um, Go ahead and save it now. And yes. So the plan is I am going to map out my whole base all the way around so I know exactly where I plan on putting everything uh, so I can make everything dress right dress. Um, I plan on having like an entrance near the road for the truck and my vehicles to come in all the way through around. So on both sides, approximately, there should be a good entrance. And then maybe even on the back side. I don't know. Usually, probably just only need two really entrances, and then we should be fine. Uh, and then after that, uh, we'll see. So um, after this, this is the live recording. Um, I will do some short live recordings when I only do like 30 to 45 minute recording videos of this new season that I'm going to start. And we will try and keep those down to like 30 minutes. 35 minutes. Some of the grindy stuff, I'll try and do a little bit offline. Stuff that really doesn't make sense. Don't need to, you know, bore you guys with that boring stuff. But as you can see, we had a great start. We got Mike. Uh, we got seven tech points. So on the next recording, uh, we will go through the tech points. We're going to assign some of them. Uh, the next step after this is to try and get a small little starter base. And the reason why I stopped. I'm not sure I want my base to be right there on the road. Like, I I just don't know if that's where I want the base to be for my main base. And so, because of that, I mean, really, that's a good location. Right across from me, I could, like, then have the garage, which is going to be right outside in front. And then, basically, everything behind me will be the, the barn, all those other things. I just got to, you know, make sure that, say, for instance, certain things are going to be close. Like, for instance, um... You know, I always had the kitchen inside my base. However, all the food and the harvesting stuff, it's in the storage location that gets gathered. But I guess, you know, you can't, you can always run. So, yeah. So, we're going to come up with an idea. Um, I have an idea. I'm going to draw it on some, on some paper, get an idea of how much it's going to be uh, space-wise. And then from there, I am going to... Uh, I guess set my base and I think what I'm gonna do is do a grid I don't know if there's a grid if somebody has done a grid already um, I'll google it see if there's a grid 
then I can use that to, to draw up my base on how I want it to look. And if not, we'll just go and see from there. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed my first video. Um, hit that like button and start watching this new episode. Uh, again, this is the first one that's going to go for two hours. Uh, went about two hours. After that, everything's only going to be about 30, 45 minute quick videos. Okay, then. Enjoy.